Okay, I'm I'm beating myself right now because the man who composed "Beat It" has has beat the scene. <laughs> you know, I could have thought that one out a little better. Poor Michael Jackson has collapsed of a heart attack apparently, and uh, though we don't really know the cause of death, it's still out. Of, uh, the the toxicology is not going to come back. But I've invited Greg Raffetto to uh, talk about that and the Mark Sanford, Governor Mark Sanford uh, sex scandal down in North in South Carolina. And I uh, just wanted to get your impression. I, said that I got the news yesterday, uh, Greg, Greg the ex-Chippendale and uh, law graduate and uh, uh, commentator on vices extraordinaire. I read this item when I, on my phone coming back on the air, uh, from the east on the airport yesterday, and a lot of people were buzzing all about it. Uh, apparently he was getting ready for a, a big tour coming up, and uh, and it collapses. They they bring him in. They can't revive him, and uh, no indication of any kind of um, you know a toxic uh, death. Other than you know, this is actually some people just thought it might have been a heart attack. But anyway, uh, my impression was that uh, you know the guy. I didn't agree with the way he presented himself on stage, you know, with the grabbing of the bulls and whatnot for, you know, representing the, the nation. But, hey, you know, my libertarian, that was when I was more of a conservative, more of a tight ass. Now, as I think more of a, a real libertarian, I think, you know, if, if uh, the people at the Super Bowl didn't want him grabbing his balls, they should have never put him on. They should have known he was going to do it because that's what he does. So free expression, yep. free speech. So, you know, I look back and I think, you know, Michael Jackson was good. Overall, it was good, you know. I mean, I was down on him because of his style. I didn't like it or whatever, but, hey, that was just me as a critic. Do you agree that, uh, hey, you know, whatever people's criticism of his, his style, it's all about freedom of expression, freedom of speech, and, uh, you know, he was an innovator, and uh, he did great things. So, I mean, I'm going to give him a positive overall, you know. Too bad he went so early. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Everybody's got a right to grab their balls in public, and uh, <laughs> if you can manage to get paid for it to boot, <laughs> so the better. <laughs> Were you a fan at all? I was not really a fan, but... Uh, I th- yes, I was. I mean, was, uh, the, the songs were good. They were definitely good songs. I just didn't. I like his early stuff. Even uh, I have ABC One Two Three on my playlist on my MP3 player. <laughs> Going b- way back to the Jackson Five, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's you know, it's great, great pop music, well presented. Uh, yeah, he, he got a little weird, you know. Personally, I've obviously he got a little weird with his life. Um, getting all the surgeries and strange behaviors. I don't know how uh, if they ever proved that he molested any kids. The allegations were always there. There were suits and there were settlements, and you know we don't know if anything really happened. <clears throat> Obviously, the guy was pretty uh, tortured uh, as an individual. That's too bad. A lot of people are great artist, and I can't take that away from him. Too bad he had to go early. You know he was going to try to make a comeback and beat all his. Uh, you know he was bankrupt basically. But uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm wondering if uh, if they're going to do an investigation into his doctors for over prescribing pain medication for all those years. I I can tell you that law enforcement did raid the house of uh, Anna Nicole Smith doctors in order to find a connection between them and Howard K. Stern and Anna Nicole. Uh, and they're conducting an investigation into Heath Ledger's death. Uh, Still, uh, for the doctors prescribing certain medications. Yeah, uh, it, you wonder. It's eerily reminiscent. It's <laughs> sad but true. Yeah, and see, you know a lot about the uh, prescription business being, in a, in a, you know, running a PPO in the past. Did you uh, do you see that uh, that over prescription can uh, actually lead to a chronic um, illness? Is that, is that you know kind of the the road they were going down there with Anna Nicole Smith and could this happen with Michael? Is it that Absolutely. It can it can break down your body over time. You know, being uh, taking all these medications. Yeah, it's not just your liver and kidneys that uh, have to filter through all that stuff. It yeah, it does break down the body over time and it impacts your digestive system and uh, you know you just it it uh, it, it becomes. Uh, something that they end up having to prescribe more and more medications just to get the same effect. And that's what happened with Elvis, too. 
Wow, so it breaks down, just to, to oversimplify, it breaks down your immune system and your body's ability to function normally uh, when you're taking too many prescriptions. Yeah. Because even it fixes one thing, but it breaks two other things, essentially, every time you take too many. Or, or yeah, especially with painkillers. Yeah, painkillers. Opiates yeah. and diab- uh, di- uh, diabetes. Uh, gosh, there's uh, there's a, several categories of them that are really bad for you over a long period of time, and yet uh, pain management doctors keep prescribing you know the same stuff to people over and over again, and uh, without investigating other methods of treating the pain. Yeah, I think it's known that uh, Michael Jackson was taking painkillers, but we I, I, I just I don't know if he was at this time or if it had been going on for a long time. It but. had been going on for a long time, actually. There there was a number of uh, family friends that had warned him about that, and, uh, you know, there's, gosh, I'll quote, Brian Oxman, a former Jackson attorney and family friend, told NBC's Today Show, uh, the result was that I warned everyone, and lo and behold, here we are. I don't know what caused his death, but I feared this day, and here we are. Yeah, so without speculating too much into the details, you've said that taking these over a long period of time, whether it's addictive or not, because addiction itself is a difficult definition, if you're taking them over a long period of time, they definitely can have this debilitating uh, effect on your overall immune system and body function and making you much more vulnerable to uh, heart uh, ailments or any ailments, really. Yeah, especially the opiates and the benzodiazepines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out over a period of weeks when they do all this toxicology, and uh, it's. Uh, they could do it faster than six weeks. It's standard uh, for them to deliberately take longer uh, in order for the hubbub to die down. They could do it quicker. Yeah, yeah. Well, overall. I'm uh, I've come full circle on the guy. I guess I was I, I liked him when I was younger and you know, in my 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 uh, early teens. You know, with the Jackson Five songs and uh, the early pop stuff and some of the songs I thought were really good. And then I got down on him because I started turning more of a uh, you know puritanical conservative, saying you know uh, this guy represents the United States in the Super Bowl and he's grabbing his balls. I thought that was an embarrassment, but. Then coming back full circle, I now now think that, yeah, you know what? That was a decision made by the people who produced the Super Bowl, and you don't have to watch the Super Bowl if you don't want to. It's not like it's a religious event that uh, (laughs) that we're all compelled to watch and it defines us all. It's like, hey, you don't like it? Turn it off and don't watch the second half. You know, hey, it's free will, right? Uh, I don't know. That's my thought. What do you think? Well, I think it's a sad thing that he's that he's gone. He's gone too early. But uh, I will always support people's right to uh, express themselves in any way, shape, or form. And uh, certainly an artist such as himself did exactly that. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did it in, uh, you know, his... As uh, as much as he's been disparaged for his character and his appearance uh, and whatever, uh, obviously he had problems. But uh, he was definitely courageous as a performer and an expressor of his uh, own free speech. So i uh, got to give him libertarian kudos for that. Absolutely. Okay. Now, 